process of making homemade vegetable stock is fairly easy and the results are cheaper and tastier than the store-bought versions. All you have to do is to brown some vegetables, add some herbs and spices, cover the water and simmer. It's really that simple. To make the stock, you will need some mushrooms, some parsley stems, spring onion leaves and roots, a handful of broccoli stems, a couple of bay leaves, a teaspoon of black pepper and an inch piece of cinnamon. We will now dice all the vegetables coarsely or roughly. Um, chopping the vegetables is not compulsory but roughly chopping them brings out more flavors into the stock. We will now add about a tablespoon of oil into the saucepan. To this, I'm going to add in all the roughly chopped vegetables and saute them for about a couple of minutes. We will saute all the ingredients until it turns lightly soft and browned. Cover the pan and allow it to saute in its own steam for a few minutes. After about 5 to 10 minutes, you notice that the vegetables are softened and lightly brown and bringing out delicious aromas from the spices and vegetables. To this, I'm going to add about 6 cups of water and bring this mixture to a boil. I'm going to, once the mixture comes to a boil, I'm going to simmer the mixture for another 30 to 40 minutes. We've been simmering the vegetables for about 40 minutes now, covered in a covered pan. Now, our next step is to strain the vegetables for the stock. We will now strain the vegetables by placing a bowl and a fine strainer on top of the bowl. Pour the vegetable stock over the a strainer and drain out all the liquid into the bowl. Your vegetable stock is now ready to be used. You can now cool the stock and store it in the refrigerator for about a week or in the freezer for six months.